everyone, welcome back to my video blog where I talk about Azure, data services, and a little bit of professional development. Today, we are going to discuss HTAP. What is it, what it does, and where we can find it in Azure. So to kick things off, HTAP stands for Hybrid Transactional and Analytical Processing with our, within our data processing engines. Now, for simplicity's sake, let's break it down to having the ability to run real-time analytics off of a transactional database system without affecting the performance of that transactional system. Don't tax the compute, right? The idea of HTAP isn't new by any means, right? It's been around as a term since uh, Gartner coined it back in 2014, and the theory has been around much longer. However, in order to deploy uh, like these types of workloads, a whole bunch of compute and memory was required to be able to get the, uh, the data aggregated and pulled together and for it to be responsive enough and not affect those transactional systems. Now, another benefit is that the time from transaction to analysis is cut tremendously as we're able to achieve near real-time insights, insights by taking advantage of these hybrid scenarios. More recently, with the advantages of modern architectures of the cloud and the ability to separate compute from storage to allow for greater scale and flexibility, we're more and more able to disseminate those workloads from within the compute engines without it perfecting, affecting that performance. Also, it gives us the ability to eliminate long and arduous ETL processes just to get to the heart of some of our transactional data uh, to be able to help drive some insights or get real-time reporting. Today, uh, two of the most prevalent technologies we're seeing HTAP being deployed in Azure are using the hyperscale tier of our managed relational options, such as Azure SQL Database, and uh, coming soon to managed instance. It's currently in preview. Um, and then the other way is by using uh, Cosmos DB with Azure Synapse Link, uh, which I covered in a, in a previous video on this channel. You can go back and check that out for more detailed information around um, you know, how that works and, and those you know, types of things around that video. For a quick overview of how this works with Hyperscale, we can take advantage of the in-memory column store index technology available in the latest versions of SQL, coupled with in-memory transactional operations from our OLTP databases. By doing so, we are able to structure our data in row-based, which is optimal for transactions, and column-based, which is optimal for analytics, structures at virtually the same time. From there, as the flow suggests, we are able to build a near real-time notification and reporting system for a variety of use cases, in this case, fraud detection. Now, with regard to Azure Synapse Link connecting to Azure Cosmos DB, the transaction store that is built in Cosmos has the ability to automatically sync to an analytical store within the same container. This will allow us to connect directly for analytics using Synapse Compute, whether we choose it to be our SQL clusters or our Spark-based cluster operations. And with this capability, the result would be the same as we would achieve near real-time insight into what's happening in our transactional systems. Hopefully, this provides a clear picture of how HTAP works and what the advantages of using it are. If there are any questions or I wasn't clear about something, definitely throw it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. You can also reach out to me on social. Uh, you can see down in the corners here uh, where you can get to me on Twitter and you can, you can find the YouTube channel itself. Um, and, and as always, I really, really appreciate all of the support and all of the likes and the subscribers and, and all of the sharing. Uh, keep that up. It really, really helps out. It motivates me to do more videos. Uh, and, and I love the comments from people, uh, whether they challenge my thoughts on it and, and my perspective or they're fully in alignment. Right. It's all great stuff. And, and I really like the conversation and communication we have. 
So uh, that's it for today. Thanks again and have a great afternoon. Bye.